In challenge number two of Can't Hurt Me, David Goggins introduces the calloused mind, a concept of mental toughness built by pushing through consistent discomfort and hardship. Just as physical labor develops calluses on the hands, Goggins argues that the mind can also be hardened through repeated exposure to adversity. This approach became essential for him as he worked to overcome the deep emotional scars left by his father's abusive control. Reflecting on his past, Goggins recalls how his father, Tronus, maintained a strict, violent grip on his family. Outwardly successful, Trunus owned a popular roller skating rink and drove luxury cars, creating an image of wealth. However, behind closed doors, he was ruthless, often reacting to minor provocations with explosive violence. Goggins remembers being hit hard for even small mistakes, and his mother frequently bore the brunt of his father's anger. Tronus didn't hesitate to strike her in front of David, turning their home into a private hell. He recounts nights when he would lie awake in fear, hearing his father's footsteps and waiting for the inevitable shouting or violence that might erupt at any moment. Watching his mother suffer deeply scarred him, as she was often punished simply for trying to protect David or for expressing any form of independence. Trunus also enforced grueling work conditions for the family at his skating rink, demanding long hours and keeping all their earnings. This added to the feeling of entrapment that dominated Goggins' early life, leaving him with a profound sense of helplessness and fear. Though he and his mother eventually escaped, Goggins found that these experiences left lasting wounds. His father's abuse affected his sense of self-worth, making him question his abilities and carry an overwhelming burden of self-doubt into adulthood. He came to realize that if he didn't confront these memories and build mental strength, he'd always be haunted by his father's influence. In his journey to reclaim his life, Goggins developed the calloused mind by using physical and mental challenges to break free from his past. He started with small acts of discomfort, like waking up early and enduring exhausting workouts, using them to push his limits. Soon, he connected physical challenges, such as running and intense endurance training, to strengthening his mind. He saw each moment of pain and perseverance as a tool to gain resilience and confidence, allowing him to rewrite the helplessness of his past. The link between physical and mental toughness. Goggins came to understand that by pushing through physical pain, he could weaken the mental grip his father's abuse had over him. Challenges like ultra-endurance runs became his proving ground, where he confronted his doubts and fears head-on. Through this process, he found that each grueling test fortified his mind, proving that he was capable of overcoming even the most intense hardships. The Role of the Calloused Mind in Overcoming Trauma for Goggins, callousing his mind was not just a way to handle daily struggles, but a transformative tool for reclaiming his narrative. Each challenge he completed helped him feel further removed from the powerless child he once was, freeing him from his father's psychological hold. This newfound resilience enabled him to face even the most difficult tasks without succumbing to the weight of his past. Key suggestions in challenge number two. Embrace discomfort. Identify small challenges where you often avoid discomfort, like getting up early or pushing through an extra workout set, as a foundation for mental growth. Push past limits. Regularly take on tasks that stretch you beyond perceived boundaries. Each victory builds your resilience, 
reflect on growth. After each challenge, recognize the mental strength you gained, using it as fuel for the next hurdle. Consistent challenges. Build small, incremental challenges into your routine. Confronting discomfort consistently adds mental calluses that protect you from future adversity. Through the calloused mind practice, Goggins transformed his life taking on extreme physical and mental challenges that allowed him to surpass his past. His journey shows that even the deepest wounds can fuel resilience empowering individuals to break free from the pain and limitations imposed by their history. For more on David Goggins, the author of Can't Hurt Me, and an in-depth look at Challenge 3, The Accountability Mirror Revisited, follow my channel. Oh. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications,